Hello guys, DJ Person here, back from another game of Through the Ages. Uh, let's see if we can find an opponent really fast. If there's any rooms open. Uh, there we have Franz Josef's game. It's only the expansion, but uh, I think we can do that. Franz Josef, very high level, so it should be a very good game. I played him often before, he plays very fast. And is a pretty good player, so that's really nice. Uh, so we don't have to look which um, leaders and winners are in the game, this is, uh, is only the expansion. And um, let's see which heroes or leaders we want in the beginning. He's starting, so he might take uh, one of those leaders. I definitely would take Sun Tzu, I think he's really strong, especially with Janzitska, who of course is also in the game. Um, but maybe he takes Sun Tzu. Um, Cleopatra is also fine, um, especially with a good wonder like Roman Rhodes, if you can get that as well. Uh, of course, we could also take Engineering Genius, but yeah, it depends a little bit. We can take Urban Growth and one of these leaders. He takes Rich Land, okay. And now I will take Sun Tzu and Urban Growth. So let's see which one now we want to take. Can definitely take the Roman Roads, which is my favorite new wonder from HA. The others are fine as well. Acropolis, um, not so much, but can be good with uh, certain um, leaders the, and also getting the government form for cheaper. With Acropolis is really nice. Okay, he takes the Roman Roads. So, we have to consider if we want um, Acropolis or not. First, I'm gonna play Sun Tzu and build and lay. Then we can increase the population and we can take rich land and then build the mine for cheaper. And then maybe take Colossus or even get Forbidden City directly. Not sure, I have to see um, what happens. Sadly, we can't take Stone Inch now, it's gonna be gone. Silk Road, also definitely a possibility, but the actions it takes is uh, quite a lot. So maybe we can take Colossus. Uh, Colosseum, sorry. Colosseum. Other than that, we didn't draw any of the best tactics with Sun Tzu. And also we want to keep in mind uh, we can get Jan, get Jan Zitzka. We definitely can take him next turn. He already has Isabella and I definitely want Jan. So I'm going to play the wealthy territory. We are going to draw quite a lot of military cards. So we can build a new farm or mine. Or one less. Then we can't take advantage of the rich land, but that's no problem. If I take Jan Zitzka, I already have three military actions, so I don't want Colosseum or Theocracy necessarily. Definitely take Breakthrough, and then maybe Forbidden City as well. The one action we get, the other with Jan Zitzka is really good. And do I want to build one step or increase population? I think I'd rather build one step. Get rid of the rats. Hope we draw a good tactic. Not yet. So the best one is probably the medieval army. And fighter man is also okay. With uh, Jan Zitzka that is. You want one of the small ones where you only need two units. And you can fulfill that um, two or three times. Produce quite a lot of culture with Jan and so we definitely want to take knights next turn and also Jan but because you can also take the knights away and we really need to draw one of those tactics we draw quite a lot for um, military cards each turn 
so it should definitely should draw one of these good tactics. This one is also fine, the phalanx. Um, we get those um, warriors with um, the farms with Janzitska. So we didn't get the knights, he took them. Um, yeah, definitely can play barbarians or cultural influence. I'm gonna play the cultural influence. Don't have enough planning, we would give or take. Can't use warfare. Uh, this one is two science, and this one is one science, one food, and one resource. I'm gonna take science. And the Yan. Uh, we have corruption, so I want to increase population once. Build one step. Um, definitely can bread and can take bread and circuses, but with Forbidden City we don't need happy faces. So maybe instead I'm gonna get the code of laws. Develop that and then build one step. And let's hope we draw. I want to keep at least one tactic just in hand. Uh, let's hope we draw a good tactic. None yet. We, have, we can wait one more turn, probably. So now these are maybe even better than the medieval army, because we don't have the knights. And we don't know when we we'll, can get them. This tactic isn't really good for us with Yan or with uh, Sun Tzu. Um, there th uh, there's the knights. Uh, we can play immigration, um, but we're not gonna have many happy faces because we have the Forbidden City. Um, so yeah, probably not gonna do that. And now we can increase the population once. We can actually uh, build another f a farm with rich land because we have Janzitska. And then we can finish this next turn. Maybe even with engineering genius, or we can take some more. Yeah, maybe we take some stuff. We can take iron, rich land, and reserves. We don't really need drama, or could take alchemy instead of the reserves. Maybe we do that. Don't want to stay at two signs too long. Can get rid of these. Keep the tactic just to have one tactic in hand. Having no tactics uh, can really be bad. Okay, with this, it's really good. Uh, not the best, but uh, we have four warriors already, basically, with Jan Zitska. So we only need two knights to fulfill this twice. So next turn we can take the knights. I'm probably not gonna build them quite yet because we want to finish the wonder. But maybe if there's uh, resources in here. Okay, he goes for this. So the problem is he can of course copy our tactic pretty soon. can definitely play something, like inhabit the uh, territory. So, like this, we can gain two resources. Finish this wonder. Take the knights. Build ones. Play this. But we don't fulfill it yet, but you can play the Anzitska, so we have it once. And now we can take either Frugality or Engineering Genius. With Frugality we can also get not Warfare, maybe Masonry. Frugality and Masonry. Yeah, why not? I don't think we need that anymore. So we now need only one more Knight and we fulfill the tactic again. And uh, it also gives us 4 strength. So if we build one knight, we get 6 strength and 1 culture 
direction as well. You can see this is really strong with uh, Janzetska. And we can take Magic Castle next. It's a really good wonder, especially for the one versus one games. And so he goes for irrigation. Um, it's a little bit sad that we didn't draw any good um, green cards where strength mattered. I mean, we could try to play an aggression, but I think we can do that next turn too. I mean, we could do it this turn, but it's not very likely. And also he has uh, cartography, and we have two colonies under the deck. So we want to take, uh, get these before he has a chance. I definitely would bid two knights. Oh, damn. Forgot to bid my uh, colonization card. Okay. And that was a big mistake. So we can take the castle, increase him once. Once again, but knights, so we are at 13 now, so he has, to be, he has to be very careful. And then we can also take breakthrough. And next turn, we probably want to get iron, we can get two iron next turn. Did he really he discarded um, Cleopatra? Apparently, he got Isabella so early that he didn't even play Cleopatra. That's interesting. So now he really has to okay do this tactic but still we definitely can play an aggression now. So do you want plunder or kidnapping? Um, probably plunder. So what do we want? We can use two food to increase once. And he also needs food more than... We can actually take three food so he can't increase his population. And then we can go for iron. Which land, increase once and then take engineering genius. We don't need irrigation because we have three farms. Um, would still be nice, but we definitely can hope to get um, selective breeding. Also, we do this tactic that's really good for us. Um, we don't want to build more military right now. And we have two knights. If we get two cannons as well, we fulfill this tactic after then Jan Sitzka is gone. We theoretically could also play this um, next turn because we have the cannons um, from the farms with Jan Sitzka. Okay, so he, we can play the kidnap as well. the cartography. Um, our problem now is science, so I probably want to build alchemy first. Could also finish with this wonder. But I don't really need the strength right now. Uh, sadly we didn't draw a war, else we could build this and end this tactic. Okay, that's not uh, much more than we have right now. Still, we can do that at some time. So it can also take team sports, and I think upgrade both of these, and then efficient upgrade for the last iron. Okay, we have quite a lot of. Oh, it's okay. We don't have too many uh, technologies in hand. Would really like to get evolutionary idea anyway. And we 
you can go for go, uh, go for Catherine or Bell probably. Don't need James Watt. We have Iron. Maria Teresa is generally not that good. Charles Darwin and Antonio Gaudi could both be fine. They both produce a um, little bit of culture, but we also don't need culture production right now. When we finish uh, the Magic Castle, we have four uh, culture production. Okay, now he upgraded this. So we can go for independence declaration, prosperity not that good for us, we don't have happy faces anyway. Inhabited. So definitely think could even send one knight. Okay, he goes for it. Hopefully it's very expensive for him. Yeah, he's to pay six resources. Not sure that's good for him. Not too sad that I lose on that. Now I can upgrade this iron. I can finish the magic castle. Take Catherine and I also want strategy and revolutionary idea. So not sure which one it is. Probably strategy. Yeah. We have four science production, that's enough right now. So the revolution idea would be very nice, um, but we don't have to get it. Also the war of the territory, um, which we can definitely go for. He still had only four civil actions and two military actions. So this will turn out very nice for us, for the Forbidden City. We got it very very early and we didn't have to concern ourselves with happy faces at all. Now do we want to play Ravages of Time? We probably we could destroy this one because we have team spots. I think that's fine. I'm gonna do that. Vast territory as well, we really want that. Okay, bit 7. I would even bit this warrior as well, so I would bit up to 8. We don't even need that. So, yeah, there's quite a lot of colonies. Maybe we should have gotten cartography earlier. Um, but uh, it's not. it didn't turn out too bad. We can increase our population, go for strategy, maybe we want to keep Janzitska for now, but actually we know that cultural influences are next, So, but we get one culture from Janzitska, we would get two from Catherine, but we lose some strength. We can wait one turn. So I would like more science, but we can't because we have no government form for that. Um, but take urban growth reserves, and then we play that just so we don't have to can make use of our last submission. Uh, sadly, we don't have enough science for Kansas next turn. Also, we would really like a new government form. That's really nice for him. You can go for that now. This is good for us. So, we are quite ahead in culture. We have a lot of potential for a good military. Um, he gets constitutional monarchy now, which is really nice for him. Losing his 17 science actually doesn't go for that. I'm not convinced that that is the right call. So yeah, what 
here the gameplay reserves. We have so many uh, unused population. I would really like to take constitutional monarchy away from him, but I also want cannons. Patriotism as well. Another knight and take away constitutional monarchy. I could also build another knight. But really I'm not too sad if I lose two selections to draw two cards. Um, they will be H3 cards, which are really important to have. Very good ones for impacts or wars, whatever. Okay, this is not good. This is also not enough. Uh, we would have to do it like this. Hmm. Yeah, we, we just tolerate having two uh, corruption. So we have to consider which leader we want. Uh, Pierre de Coutin is definitely a good option. We have team spots in hand. The problem with um, that we don't have, uh, we can't build more than two uh, arenas because we are still at despotism. I think now as he can take Republic, but Republic isn't that good for him, like uh, constitutional monarchy would have been, because he only gets two military actions. And like this he can't draw cards, he can't keep up with uh, military, so I probably want him to play um, a card. Okay, he doesn't go for Republic, he goes for the big code of laws. To the service. We could also go for Ma Nelson Mandela. And yes, I know that I will lose two selections, but drawing two cards is uh, very good. So now we can go for cannons. One, two, three. And I might also take Nelson Mandela. He's quite a lot of uh, culture for us. Get rid of one wall. Keep some of these. That I think. Keep the impacts for now. Okay, this PA came pretty early, uh, but as I said, we can only build two arenas. That's enough for Nelson Mandela to get us some culture, and also one civil action. If I had known that Pierre came so early, I would have taken him, but uh, we had a really nice opportunity to take Nelson Mandela. Maybe could have waited with that. Maybe it wasn't good to take him. Maybe it should have taken like military build up. Something like this. So not too sure. But he now has to be really careful what he does. He's so weak right now. Sadly we didn't draw a um, war of a culture. He has to prepare, he has to spend all of his turn to prepare for a war. And I'm simply not gonna play the war. I mean, I could, but with military build up and all this that he has, he can also take fundamentalism. I'm just gonna make use of Catherine for now. Again, a uh, nice civil uh, yellow token. And then go for team sports. Now we can swap out Catherine. Build one arena. Okay, I would have thought that with um, 
Okay, yeah, they are only ignored. So I would have thought that I would have two um, two surplus happy faces now, um, but it doesn't work like that. Makes sense that it wouldn't. Not sure why I thought that. Maybe take democracy because he probably would like that. He would also like fundamentalism and take a revolutionary idea. We have corruption again. So maybe we build this one without urban growth. We don't have corruption. This, this and this. And get rid of this and this probably. So yeah, now Nelson Manila isn't giving us that much. Pierre would have been better. But also he's not too bad. One selection, two culture. And we can get even more culture. We build another arena and we produce three more. Also I really want democracy. Um, this revolutionary idea will put us at 12. So we will want this one as well. So after that turn we can go for democracy. Also he has no culture and no culture production really. He has quite a lot of science. But I'm also not sure that he can go for a big war. We have Magic Castle, we have way more strength than him. And we can take air forces. And he needs quite a lot of actions to build his military up. Interesting to see if he will take fundamentalism. No, he won't. I don't think I agree with that. Because he really, really needs military actions. So I can even like go for progress. Nope. This one should be good. We're gonna build one more of the arenas. Okay, this is this isn't too good. He really wants. I oh really. Yeah, he also doesn't really really want those. I mean, I would bid three, but I don't think I can build bid a whole army. So yeah. And we can play revolutionary idea. Build one of these. So now we have some surplus happy faces. Can take revolutionary idea. Also, I think maybe we don't have to play revolutionary idea now because we can take away communism for him, take air force and revolutionary idea. So he only has the option of military theory. He has no other way to gain military actions. I don't think we can lose without a war. So I want to take away his abilities to do a war. So, yeah, okay. There is military theory, but on three. Has to pay quite a lot. Also, he can't declare war now. He doesn't have enough. He also doesn't draw that much, so maybe he doesn't have any at all. Um, but like this, I don't see a way for him to gain enough culture without a war to defeat us. So my goal is to deny the way that I could lose, and the only way that I lose that I can see is by a war. So taking away the communism. I really don't understand why he stayed at despotism that long. He had enough science, and okay, he resigned. Uh, didn't see a way as well. So yeah, I, as I said during the game, didn't agree with him not taking your government form. So this was a very quick game. I hope you enjoyed that and I see you next time as well.